Bank charges. Bank charges is another very small topic. This concept is used both in accounts payable and account receivable process, wherein the company is required to pay the bank charges which is additional to outstanding balance that needs to be paid or from the amount received. In that case, the bank charges need to be assigned to a separate account while posting so that the invoice amount will be separate and the charges amount will be separate in journal posting. To give you an example in account payable process, let's say the company has purchased from the vendor for the amount of 10,000. So the outstanding amount to be paid to the vendor is 10,000. To clear the outstanding payment to the vendor, you have initiated a fund transfer request with the bank that is transfer the funds from company's account to vendor account. To complete or make this transaction, the bank charges is 1%. What it is? To complete or make this transaction, the bank charges will be 1%. If the invoice amount is 10,000 and the bank charges is 1%, that is rupees 100. So, when I make the outgoing payment, then I have to pay the amount of 10,000 against the vendor invoice. Apart from that, I have to post the another entry of 100 in separate GL account which is an expense. Yes, I have to post another entry of 100 in separate GL account which is an expense. In SAP, we have an option to assign the bank charges to separate GL account which will be updated automatically at the time of payment. Here, let me give you an example for the bank charges. I will take the Udemy itself. If you buy a course from Udemy and make the payment from your credit card in US dollars or any foreign currency other than your own country currency, then you will be charged with bank transaction charges as a processing fee for conversion of currency fee. If the course price is 10 USD and I make the payment of 10 USD using my credit card issued in India. So, after the payment is completed in Udemy payment page, the Udemy receives the 10 USD from me. But apart from that, I will be charged with foreign currency markup charges from me. Here, let me show you the screenshot from my credit card to show you to explain about the bank charges. See, here I have paid 0.43 USD to AliExpress.com along with that amount, I have been charged with the foreign currency charges additional to 0.43 USD. I hope you have now understood about the bank charges. Okay? First, let's perform the SAP configuration related to accounts payable process and then we will perform the activities related to account receivables. Here, let me give you the overview of the activities that we will be performing in SAP. First, what we will do is, we will create the bank charges GL account under expenses account group using the T code FS00. And then, we will assign the GL account for automatic posting using the T code that is OBXK. What it is? It is OBXK. And then we generate the vendor invoice using the T code F-43. After that, we post the outgoing payments along with the bank charges using the T code F-53. And then finally, we verify the journal entries in FBL3N report.